Hello and welcome to the channel. In today's episode I'm going to be cleaning up some pots that I pulled out of the greenhouses as I've cleaned up this weekend. I'm going to be reclaiming some soil and today I'm going to try and salvage this lemongrass. So if you'd like to see me do that, stay tuned. This lemongrass has been hanging out in the house and it looks terrible. <laughs> I am going to try to salvage it. This pot was just hanging out in the garden all winter. I covered it up with some found mulch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to repurpose this soil. I'm actually going to dump this soil out into my turquoise bucket refresh it, put it back in the pot, and try and grow some lemongrass. Hmm, what do we have here? Something in the pot. I don't know, was that a carrot? Huh, interesting. Interesting. Something was in here from last year. I don't know what, but it indeed had something in here that had grown. Huh. I didn't know I had something in this pot. I thought it was just a pot that was just hanging out in the garden. It had nothing in it. Wow. See, good thing I decided to dump this soil out because I have no idea what this is. No idea. Interesting, interesting, interesting. It has the skin of a carrot, but I don't remember putting carrots in this container. But just because I don't remember doesn't mean it didn't happen. <laughs> oh. But it doesn't look like a carrot in the inside. Huh, I don't know, I have no idea. Mystery. So I'm just going to refresh this soil once I get this debris out of here. I don't know what that is. Don't know if it was a flower. Don't know if it was if it was carrots. No earthly idea. So now that I've dumped the soil out, I've taken out that mystery, whatever it is. The soil looks good. A little bit heavy, but that's all right. I'm going to go ahead and put some fertilizer in here. I am starting with Osmocote. This is a all-purpose fertilizer. I'm just gonna dump two scoops in. I'm gonna use my Osmocote. Did I say Espoma? That was Espoma all-purpose. I hope I said that right. This is my Osmocote flower and vegetable. I'm gonna put one and a half scoops like that. And I'm just gonna mix this soil up. And because this soil does seem to be a little heavy, I'm gonna get some vermiculite and put in here just to kind of loosen it up a little bit. So I don't want this to be too claggy and hold on to too much moisture. So let me get a couple scoops of vermiculite and I'll be right back. I decided not to get vermiculite, <clears throat> excuse me. I decided to get perlite. So I'm just gonna mix that in along with the fertilizer, just to kind of break up that soil some so that it's not so dense. Purple Beauty Creeping Phlox. Hmm. I don't remember even having that. <laughs> oh. That's old. 
That's a few years old. Okay. Now that I have that pretty well mixed up, I'm going to put it back in the container. Just trying to get it around the edges. That way I don't have any of that thick soil around the edges of the pot that it is well and thoroughly mixed in. That's why I'm glad this scooper has a point on the end so that you can get around in the corners. There we go. All right. Now that that's done, I'm going to place this back inside of the container. And I hope you guys can see. And here we go. Now I'm not going to fill it all the way up. Not just yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now I'm going to take this sad looking lemon, lemongrass and work it around like so. See if it's alive or dead. Let's see. I'm going to cut it back. This one is firm, but I'm not sure about this one. You can see this one is nice and green and firm. Um, it does need to put some root growth on, so that one's going to go in there. I'm not sure about that one. This is the same. Peel it back. You can see that it has nice green. So I am going to cut it back, so that's going to go in there. Same with this one. It's thin, but it does still have some green on it. So in it goes. This one, not so much. And even though this one is small, or I should say thin, it does still also seem to be alive. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and plant these. I'm going to cut them back, trim them up. As you can see, they look real scraggly but I'm gonna cut them and put them in this pot. So I'm just gonna plant them just like so. Nothing special. Just put them in like that. And I'm gonna take my scoop and backfill. I do apologize for my neighbor's dog. They are out. Someone's walking by and they don't like it. But if you are a fur baby owner, you know that sometimes that's just how it is. All right. Okay, so I'm just going to firm it in like that, pushing the soil down and around. I'm going to put some mulch on top of here. Take that excess soil off like that. And then I'm going to just put this in a sh partly shaded area and allow it to grow more roots. And I'm going to cut the top off and I'm going to keep an eye on it to see if it's going to grow. I'm going to repurpose this soil, so I'm going to dump it over in that bucket like that. I use reclaimed soil. So that's that. Now I'm gonna put some mulch on top of here. Cut the tops and put it in a partially shaded place. And keep an eye on it. I'm gonna water it in and see if it will produce for me. I think the reason why it looks the way it does is that it just did not like being inside the house. I tried to keep it by the back window, but my youngest dog, she's a nuisance when it comes to in the garden. I don't think that she, when she was growing, was taught about gardening and planting and 
things not to touch. And my eldest dog, she loves to smell the flowers, but she's not a digger. She doesn't try to eat anything in the garden. And my youngest bulldog is the exact opposite. And I swear if I had her first, I would never have another bulldog because it's hard to keep them safe when you turn your eye and they're running towards something. And the next thing you know, they're chewing something. And before you can get to them, they swallow it and then you're at the vet. So that's this. And that is the first of projects that I have today. I just have a couple of pots to clean up. I'm sure you guys don't want to see me clean up any pots, but this is all that I'm doing in today's video. Just cleaning up pots, potting up this lemongrass, and just trying to tidy up the garden as I've uncovered it and getting ready for this growing season. And I want this to be in the garden. So I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, that this is gonna be prosperous. We shall see. If you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit that like button, share this video, leave me a comment. I greatly appreciate all who visit my channel and all who comment. Until the next time, have a great gardening day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. About a week ago, I cleaned out this pot, refreshed the soil and let it sit while I waited for my food to be ready to put in it so now is that time i'm just going to take this mulch off the top and i had some worms that was living in this and i still have a couple i'm going to take them out put them in the soil and then i'm going to toss this out Hoping I don't toss away any worms, but this has got to go because it's gross. Nothing in there. I'm just, there we go. Got some worms right there I need to take out. Now, th all this white stuff is a rotting elephant ear and I don't want that but I am going to take the worms the worms seem to like this for some strange reason it's gross it looks like marshmallow but I wouldn't want to eat it so I think I got all the worms out so I'm going to toss this in the garbage I'm going to leave the leaves in here and I've already refreshed this soil with fertilizer so all I'm going to do right now is just push the soil a little bit because it's been sitting here for about a week like that leave those leaves in there now what I'm going to be planting is this I had taken some ginger that I gotten from the grocery store and I just placed it as you can see in a reusable um, plastic container that came with brownie bites so I'm just all I did was put them in here set them on some soil and you can see they've begun to root and they've begun to send out shoots so all I'm going to do is just take them out of here like this place them on the soil like this and then I'm going to cover them up with this soil that I have in this container and I could break these down a little bit further, but I'm not going to. They were doing so well just as they are. I am going to leave these leaves. These leaves are good for worm food. So I'm just going to break up this soil and place it on the top like so. Just cover them up a little bit. They don't need to be buried too deep. I have some reclaimed soil off to my left in my turquoise bucket. I'm going to take that and just cover up my ginger. Just like that. Just like that. And that's it. I'm going to take some mulch and place some mulch on top of here so that this soil stays moist and these will continue to grow because they like that moisture. As you saw, they were growing quite nicely. So that's about it. 
that is me planting my store-bought ginger.